and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be learning to sort 3D shapes based on their properties. So hopefully from my previous videos you've had a look at what the 3D shape names are, what their properties are from yesterday's video. And today we're going to be sorting them. So we're looking at their faces, their edges, their vertices, the number of them, whether they have flat faces or whether they have curved faces. Um, and having a little look at how we can sort them. So, if I've got a cylinder, a cube, a cuboid, a cone, a triangular prism, a hemisphere, which is like a 3D um, semicircle, a sphere and a pyramid, a square based pyramid, we can have a look at sorting them underneath the correct criteria. So, up here it says, has a circular face, does not have a circular face. So, when I'm looking at this, I can have a look at the different 3D shapes and think about whether they do have a circular face and I can see it or whether they don't. So, if we take the cylinder, I can see here that a cylinder does have a circular face and I know a cylinder has two circular faces altogether. So, it has a circular face, I can write cylinder in there. And then I can cross it off. If I'm looking at a cube, I know that all the faces of a cube are square. So I know a cube does not have any circular faces. So in here, I can put cube. I've got a cuboid. Again, on a cuboid, I know that the faces are rectangles or squares. Therefore, a cuboid's gonna go in. It does not have a circular face. A cone. Well, I can see here that the cone on the bottom does have a circular face. So that would go into this section. A triangular prism. I know that the um, faces on a triangular prism are triangles and rectangles and therefore they're not circular. So triangular prism. A hemisphere. Well I can see here actually there's a circular face on the top. So it does have a circular face. I can put Hemisphere, and again, that's the same as the semicircle, but it's a 3D one, so half of a sphere. Now, this is the one that most of the children get mixed up with. When they look at a sphere, they say, oh yeah, it's got a circular face. It actually doesn't. It has a curved face, but it's not circular. So the sphere, which you go into, does not have a circular face, because you can't see those circles like you can in your cylinder and your cone and your hemisphere. And then I've got a pyramid. So I know a square base pyramid has a square at the bottom and the rest of the face is a triangular and therefore it will not go into this section, it will go into this section. And we're looking at sorting them under a different heading. So we've got has less than five vertices, has five vertices or more. Now that language is really, really important because what you might end up doing is putting shapes that have five vertices in either or. This one says less than five vertices. So any shape that has five vertices or more is going to go into this section. That's really important. So thinking about our properties of 3D shapes that we looked at yesterday, if we're looking at a cylinder, we'll start with that one first. We know a cylinder has no vertices, which therefore means it has less than five vertices. So I pop that in there. Going with our cube now. So thinking about that physical cube, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we know they've got one around there at the back. So it's got eight. Therefore, eight is more than five. So it will go into this section. So I can put a cube in. Now I know from my own knowledge, and you'll know from yesterday's lesson on 3D shapes and properties, that a cuboid has exactly the same number of vertices as a cube. So that's got eight, and therefore it's going to go in the same section as the cube. Now I've got a cone, I can see that a cone has one vertex, therefore one is less than five. So my cone is going to go into this section. Now I've got my triangular prism, again I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is more than five and therefore my triangular prism is going to go in here. And again, if you want to physically 
beautifully do what I did in the 3D properties um, video where you're using your blue tack or whatever you like on everyday items that you've got at home. You can do that just to remind you of how many vertices there are in each of those 3D shapes. I've got my hemisphere. My hemisphere has no vertices, therefore that's going to go in here. It's got less than five. I know my sphere's got zero vertices. Then I've got a pyramid. The pyramid's got one, two, three, four, and there's one at the back there, five. So because it's got five, it's not less than five, so it's going in here. So I've got my pyramid in here. And that's if it was square based. So that's what I'm doing that one on. So if we have a look at what I've done here, I want you to see whether you can spot my mistake. So I have ordered and sorted the shapes, has less than five vertices, has five vertices or more. See whether you can figure out which ones I've done wrong by having a little look. So this section, less than five vertices, and this section over here says has five vertices or more. Now, when you're looking at questions where it's asking you what could the mistake be, you want to take it a shape at a time. So let's start with this section and let's have a look. So this section says it has less than five vertices and we can figure out whether it's right or wrong. So first of all, I'm going to draw the vertices on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's one at the back, eight. If it's got eight vertices and this section says it has less than five vertices, I know it's in the wrong section. So I know that this one should be over here. Let's see if we can do it with the next one. Now, because I know that a cuboid has eight vertices and a cube has exactly the same vertices, I know that this one, without even counting it, is also in the wrong section. That means square based. Now I can try my triangular prism. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, has less than five vertices. Six is more than five. So that is in the wrong section. Now if I use a different colour, if I use a blue, we can have a look at these ones. So it has five vertices or more. So we'll try the cone first. One vertex, therefore it has less than five vertices. It's in the wrong section. That needs to be going in there. I can see from my cylinder that it has no vertices. And therefore I know that's definitely in the wrong section. My sphere and my hemisphere is exactly the same. So what I've done accidentally is I've put the majority of the ones that should have been in here has less than five vertices into here, and the ones that have five vertices or more into the wrong one. Now, if this was a triangular prism, not a square based, so if it doesn't have a square at the bottom, it actually has a triangle at the bottom, it would have one, two, three, four vertices. And because of that, it would therefore be going into this section. Round there, just like that. Now we've changed the criteria again, so it has less than six edges, has six edges or more. So remember that edges are where the faces meet. So if I'm having a look at my cylinder, I know it has one, two edges, and therefore it has less than six edges, so my cylinder can go in there. My cube, I know, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Therefore, twelve is larger than six, so I know my cube's going to go in here. Just like before, I know my cuboid has also got twelve edges. has exactly the same number as a cube, so I know that's going to go in there without even looking. And then I've got my cone. So I'm looking at my cone, I know, oh, sorry guys, I know that my cone is going to have less than six edges, so my cone can go in here as well. Triangular prism, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that eight is larger than six, therefore my triangular prism is going to go in there, we'll call it TP for short. My sphere, I can see, has less than six edges. My hemisphere, sorry, not my sphere, my hemisphere. 
I know that my sphere has no edges, so that's definitely going to be in this one. And then I've got my pyramid. One, two, three, there's one at the back, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's if it's a square base. So I know my pyramid, if it's a square based one, would also be in here. So now we can have a look again at a mistake. So again, taking it methodically and systematically, thinking shape at a time, which one's in the right place. So you can see in the hoops, we've got shape of six face in here, pyramids and other. So other means any of the shapes that don't fit into the shape of six faces and the pyramid one. And we need to figure out out of all those shapes, which ones are in the wrong one. So have a little look and see whether you can spot the ones that are definitely in the wrong place from your knowledge of your properties of each shape. So six faces, pyramids, so if we take the first one, we've got a cube. I know that a cube has six faces, so I can pick that one. We've got a cuboid here, and I know that a cuboid has the same number of faces as a cube, so I know that's right as well. I've also then got different cubes and cuboids in different ways. So we've got a smaller cuboid on its side, and then we've got another one. So I know that's six, and that's six. Now, I've got a square base pyramid. So I'm thinking about a square base pyramid. I know that it's a square at the bottom, so that's one face. And then two, three, four, five. So I know that this one is not in its right place. So that's one of the ones that's got one out. And then I'm having a look at my sphere, and I know that my sphere definitely does not have six faces. So here's my second one that's the odd one out. So they're not in the right place, first of all. Then I can have a look at my pyramid section and see if any of those were in the wrong place. So, yes, that's a square based pyramid, quite a thin one, narrow one. Yep, that's another square based pyramid. My red one is another square based pyramid. But this yellow one isn't a pyramid at all. It's actually a cone, like an ice cream cone. So, I also know that this one is not a pyramid, it's not going to be going into that section. So now I need to decide out of my square base pyramid here, my sphere and my cone, which sections they should be in. So if I use a different colour, well, I know that's a square base pyramid, so that yellow one should actually be in here. Now I've got my sphere. Now a sphere doesn't have six faces and it isn't a pyramid. And therefore it has to go in the only section that's left, which is other. And the same with my cone. My cone is not a pyramid. And it also doesn't have six faces. So again, that's going to go into that section. So I've looked at the faces of each of the 3D shapes one by one, seeing whether they fit in that section or not, and then put the shapes into the correct section that they should be in. Now, the main bit that's quite tricky sometimes, sometimes we know that it's in the wrong section, but we find it hard to actually explain. And when you get into year two and year three, Maths becomes very, very hard because you'll have to explain how you know that, to prove it, to prove it to us. Because you might have just copied your friend or you might have just guessed. It's not about guessing, it's about actually proving it. So I proved it there and then I need to explain that. So which shapes are in the wrong place? We said that these two and this one's in the wrong place. So the sphere is in the wrong place because the sphere at the minute is in the um, hoop that says six faces. I know that a sphere does not have six faces. So, the sphere is in the wrong place because it does not have six faces. Really nice and simple. I know it hasn't got six faces. Now, you can extend that further. You could say, actually, it has one curved face rather than six faces. So, you can extend it. And then you can have a look at taking that further. So the cone is in the wrong place because the cone is not a pyramid. So the cone is in the wrong place because it is not a pyramid.
and then you can extend this. So it's not a pyramid, so it should, sorry, my U looks really strange there. Ah, this silly board. So it should be in the other group. As it doesn't have six faces either. So I'm explaining it shouldn't be in this group, it should be in that group because actually it doesn't have six faces, it's not a pyramid either, therefore it has to go in the other. And then we can move on to the Venn diagram. So on this one, we've got in this part of the Venn diagram, it has an even number of vertices, so an even number of corners. In this half, it says it has a square face. And in the middle, it's if it has a square face and it also has an even number of vertices. So again, we're gonna have a little look. We're looking at vertices and faces. So this is where it gets a bit more complicated because you're not only looking at one of the properties, you're looking at two. And you're looking to see whether you can figure out where the shape should go. So we'll start with this one. We'll have a look at the corners first. So one, two, three, four, five, so vertices. So it has five vertices, which is not even, because I know, using my little rhyme, zero, two, four, six, eight, even numbers, they are great. One, three, five, seven, nine. I love odd numbers all the time. So that's a little rhyme that my children and myself do. So I know that it's got an odd number of vertices, so it's not gonna go in there. And it does have a square face. So it's got a square face right here. So I know that this one, the square base pyramid is gonna go in here. So square based pyramid goes into that section. One plus one two. Then I can have a look at the next one, which I know is a cube. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's one at the back, eight. So it's got eight vertices, which is an even number, because zero, two, four, six, eight, even numbers, they are great. And it also has square faces. So my cube goes in the middle because it has both an even number of vertices and it has square face. Then I'm gonna have a look now at my prism. So look at the vertices, one, two, three, four, five, so at the back, six. So it's got an even number of vertices, but has it got any square faces? No, it has triangular and rectangular faces. So my triangular prism is going to go into has an even number of vertices. So triangular prism is in there. I've got my sphere, which I know has no vertices at all and no square faces. So even though it has zero vertices, zero is an even number. And therefore the sphere will go into here. And finally, we've got the shape over here, which is, has two hexagons and then it also has rectangular faces. So there's no square faces, but if I'm counting the vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it does have an even number of vertices, but it does not have a square face. So this shape here would go into there. So this is your part of your worksheet today for my class. So it's looking at the shapes, saying whether they have vertices or don't have vertices, saying which ones are in the wrong place and why explaining is really important. And then ordering shapes, just like in the 2D properties um, and 2D sorting video that I did. It's exactly the same with 3D shapes. So say which one has the fewest edges to which one has the most edges, which one has the fewest vertices to the most vertices. And then we've got a lovely little challenge here. A cube is a type of cuboid. Do you agree and why? And really important again to explain. So have fun sorting 3D shapes.